Find answers to the Christian faith at thereareanswers.com. Remember to subscribe, like, and share the video as we journey through the Bible five minutes at a time. This video will give you a glance into the life of Moses. After Joseph became a great leader in Egypt the Hebrew people migrated there due to the great famine throughout the known world. Joseph and Pharaoh died but the Hebrews grew to become a great force there and the new Pharaoh did not like it. He was worried about them becoming too powerful in Egypt, so he enslaved them. They were enslaved for over 400 years, unable to leave they greatly multiplied into what came to be a great nation. At the time of Moses there were over 600,000 able-bodied men, not counting women, children, and the elderly. Now they are ready to take the promised land so God sends Moses. Moses is a very important figure in Christianity. He is another symbol of God redeeming his people from the evils of this world. We will soon see God's redemptive plan fulfilled in the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus, the Christ, which brings salvation to all. But first, here are some key points of the life of Moses. He was born in Egypt to Hebrew parents. At the time of his birth, the Pharaoh had ordered all Hebrew male infants to be killed, but Moses' mother was able to save him by placing him in a basket and setting him afloat on the Nile River. The Pharaoh's daughter discovered the basket and took pity on the infant, adopting him as her own. Moses was raised in the Egyptian royal court, but he never forgot his Hebrew heritage. As an adult, Moses saw an Egyptian taskmaster beating a Hebrew slave and he killed the taskmaster in anger. Fearing retribution, he fled Egypt and lived in exile in the wilderness. It was there that God appeared to him in a burning bush and commanded him to return to Egypt to lead the Hebrew people out of slavery. When Moses confronted Pharaoh with God's demand to let the Hebrews go, Pharaoh refused. As a result, God sent ten plagues upon Egypt, including the Nile turning to blood, a plague of frogs, and the killing of all the firstborn sons of Egypt. These were all plagues against the Egyptian gods that were worshipped there. After the tenth plague, Pharaoh finally relented and allowed the Hebrews to leave Egypt. However, he soon changed his mind and pursued them with his army. The Hebrews were miraculously able to cross the Red Sea, with the waters parting to allow them to pass and then closing in on the pursuing Egyptian army. Then they journeyed to Mount Sinai, where God gave Moses the Ten Commandments and other laws. Moses also received instructions for the construction of the tabernacle, a portable sanctuary that would accompany the Hebrews on their journey to the Promised Land. Moses led the Hebrews through the wilderness, what was supposed to be a short journey ended up being for 40 years due to their lack of trust and faith in God. The Promised Land will now be for the next generation. Moses was not allowed to enter the Promised Land due to his angry dealings with God's people. He died on Mount Nebo and was buried by God, and the leadership of the Hebrews passed to Joshua. Moses is remembered as a great leader and prophet who led his people out of slavery and received divine revelation from God. His legacy of strength and faith in God continues to influence us all to this day. In spite of Moses reacting in the wrong way against the taskmaster, God never left him. God chased him and used him to do mighty things in his plan. We are all faced with hard things in this life that we do not understand and many times do things the wrong way but know that God will never leave you nor forsake you. He can also use you to do great things for him in his plan, trust him and keep your faith strong. If you have questions about the Christian faith, go to thereareanswers.com to find answers. Remember God loves you. Stay tuned for the next video about Joshua and how he leads the Israelite people into the promised land.